Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Jonathan Coates, and in today's free automation training, we're going to be picking up where I left off in my Sue Social video where we talked about Facebook. And what we talked about in that training specifically was the notifications off tab, account actions, and the accept tab. Now we're going to be talking about invite, the contact, as well as I'm going to briefly go over bump. I'm going to skip this and try to create a separate video about it. And then I'm going to talk about comment and like you. And, and I'm going to give you the settings for each one of these different tabs. Now, just a quick recap. Basically, we talked about finding groups and then basically how to have it do that for you on autopilot and then join those groups. And then you can actually unjoin groups as well. And then since you're going to be joining so many groups, 1,600, 1,700, up to 2,000, Plus, you don't want all those notifications to be going off on your phone. So basically what you do is you just have Sue Social here basically go in and turn off the notification for each one of those groups. And then just so that you're not posting because you're going to set up a campaign over here in the publisher section so that you're posting to the Facebook groups. And we'll talk about that when I talk about creating a campaign as well as a wall posting campaign as well. And you set that up here in the destinations list. But is since you don't want that being the only thing, you don't want that to stand out as being the only thing that you're doing, posting the groups over and over again. You want to set up other account actions, not only just stuff like commenting, liking on different things. You want to be you want it to come off as natural as possible. You want it to have it turning notifications off. You want to have it like accepting friend requests, wishing people happy birthday, other random account actions such as, you know, things that people would normally do on Facebook, not just one repetitive action because that that's the quickest way to trigger the spam filters. So stuff like watching videos on Facebook, watch, skip clicking on notification, use Facebook save posts. You get the idea. And then accepting people into the groups because anyone, unless the admin actually changed that setting specifically where they're the only ones that can accept new group members, typically what happens is by default, a Facebook group has it so anyone in the group can accept a group member. So we have it right here that you can automatically accept someone into the group. And then what happens is since you just accepted them, if you have it so that you can post automatically into that group with your campaign, that person will automatically see that in their notifications. So they, they didn't get the chance to turn off notifications yet. So that's a sort of a two birds with one stone here. And then you just want to make sure that you follow the instructions in that training. So I just wanted to do this quick little recap. And now we're going to talk about invite because as I was saying, it's a multi-purpose action. This allows you to do different things. So we're going to be adding friends into the group from your friends list. You want to make sure that you have a certain amount of friends on your account first. And also another thing about this is you want to make sure that you have a Facebook business page, like a Facebook fan page. So you can actually invite friends to your page from your own like personal account you can invite from page post likes invite page fans to groups so people who liked your post recently you can invite them to like the page and then you can invite people from your page to your group so that's why it's really helpful to have a business page because not only does it increase your reach in your marketing as well as your credibility and your overall authority but it allows you to invite more people into those groups. And especially if you're creating your own groups, which I have an entire video about how to grow a group up to 100,000 plus, especially if it's an advertise me here free group where everybody's allowed to just post whatever they want into those groups. It's the easiest way to grow them by having a business page, people who are already interested in your content. If you're creating a group that's directly related to the niche that you're in, and this is you want to make sure that you have a business account. So the invite tab allows you to add friends to group, add emails to group. If you have emails in here, you're going to go ahead and queue those up. So and then it'll come it'll come down here. All the groups will come down here and you just basically add the emails in here. And then you add you click on this button after you add them all in here. And then they'll come all down and they'll, they'll show up down here and then they'll have this little section right here that tell you how many of the emails have been invited to the group. So let's go ahead and get started at this first part here. Since 2017, since they've started, they've added a lot more tabs here. I want to start with the very beginning and it kind of applies almost as far as like the settings is concerned, like the run timers. It kind of applies all the way across the board. So wait between 1800 to 3600, at least at least for this first part right here, you can you can make tests 
but all across the board, basically from the left all the way to the right, wait between 1,800 to 3,600 seconds. And then what I recommend is when it comes to inviting friends to pages and events, we want to wait at least when you're just beginning, just starting out, and then you can gradually improve this. But you can invite between two to four people per operation. So between 1,800 and 3,600 seconds, that's when they're going to actually invite friends from your personal account to the actual business page there or an event if you've created them. And you can do that all on autopilot. And it'll be 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And right here is you'll invite between 100 and 100 people per day and no limit. And you can actually create a limit and you can actually increase that daily. But for now, just starting out, you want to start at zero, wait a week, and then start to increase daily by one until it reaches however many you want max per day, which typically you can invite about, I'll say 250 people within your first six months of creating an account. And then you want to make sure that you have this ticked. So anytime you have new pages that you create, the software will automatically tick it and start doing the same thing with that page as far as like inviting friends to the page. And then also you can auto select new friends. So anytime they get new friends, it'll automatically send them down here. And then you can select the pages where to invite your friends basically from here. And you just want to make sure that you have select all if you want to do that for every one of the pages. And again, you can do it like this. You can start off from inviting, inviting two to four people per operation, wait between 1800 to 3600 seconds for this specific tab right here. And you can test this out and then add friends to group. You can leave this as is as far as like the one to 10 people per operation and then wait between 1800 to 3600 seconds. And then 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And what I normally do is I the, the same exact philosophy and process that we talked about over in the friends, since we're adding friends to groups, it's kind of the same exact timers and process. I just leave it as is, invite between 100 people to 100 people a day. And then for the first week or so, week and a half, just leave it as is. And then if you want after that, you can increase it for by one until it reaches 250 basically. So it'll start off with you inviting a hundred people per day. And I actually recommend if you have a lot of actions and like bans and penalties struck against you in the past, then what you can do is you can lower this to about 60 per day when you're just starting out and then warm it up to get to the point where it's at 100 after obviously your first week and a half. And then you start to incrementally increase it by one or two until it reaches a max, I would say about 250, at least for your first six months, because you're conditioning the accounts. And then after about a year, a year and a half, you're able to actually have this at about 300, 350. So, and then you just want to make sure that you select all of these. So all the groups that come into here, just want to make sure that if you want all those groups to have invitations sent to them from your friends list, then make sure you have it selected all. And then add emails to groups. What you can do is at the very bottom here, you can add emails in line by line and then have them all down here. Click on add to email list. And then I will keep the same exact settings as here. And then right here where it says auto select new groups. Anytime you get new groups that you join, you can go ahead and just go ahead and select them and it'll, it'll pop up down here. And then again, you want to click on select all so forth and so on. Just keep the settings as you see right here, invite between five to 10 emails per operation. And then we went over this and the same thing from here, any time somebody likes your post basically, and they're not already following or liking your page on autopilot, have an invitation sent out to them to like the page. I mean, they like your post, right? So you might as well follow the page. And these settings that you see right here, you can basically go ahead and just click. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have your actual Facebook pages and you can, you can add them in here like so. So basically each Facebook page that you have, you go to the top URL in the browser, add them in line by line, and just make sure that you select all. Also, you want to make sure that anytime you create new pages, you want to have this ticked right here. So you don't have to keep coming back in here and, you know, adding them in there. So the software knows when you have new pages every time that syncs. And then the same thing here, invite page fans to groups. 
So anytime someone is a fan of your pages or any of your new pages. So for an example, with my page, I get about between just on just naturally between five, 10 to 15 new likes on my personal business page every single day. And normally what I like to do in the morning is I'll invite all of them manually. This is my personal page. I don't add it to an automation software. So I, on, I manually invite all those people. They just follow my page. They're fresh. They're new. They're already enthusiastic about me and my content. Might as well bring them into my ecosystem and my, my group. So you can actually have this happen on autopilot here. So per operation, I would say a max of about 60 five to 10 page fans per operation and then um 1800 to 3600 so i would say 60 right here zero to 60 per day and then after about the first week and a half you can incrementally increase it same as we talked about with the other tabs all right and then down here again you just want to make sure that you have them select all select all that way you're covering all bases and you're covering all pages and groups etc so that's it for this tab now we're going to get into the next tab, which is contact. And I'm going to go ahead and save that for the next video. I hope you enjoyed. If you like content like this, by all means, if you feel like you've received value out of this or anytime you feel I've offered something or share something with you that you feel is really powerful and help change the way you look at things, then by all means, write in the description. There's two donation options. You can either donate via Cash App or you can donate via PayPal. And also be sure to take a look at the tools and the resources below. I have everything that I included in this video, as well as the pinned comment right below in the comment section, the affiliate marketing samurai. I have everything that I talked about resources as well as Sue social. Be sure to check out my free automation checklist right below this video. It's going to help you to free up time and boost engagement. And you can have it right beside you, accompany you as you're going about your automation efforts. Just tick, tick, tick. You're going down the list. Basically, make sure that you're not missing anything. So be sure to check that out. It's completely free. All you got to do is you put your name and your email address in. I'll send it right to your inbox, all right? Be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out my playlist for additional videos on this subject. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. See you then.